Tower Defense, a fairly simple genre in which you play stuff and it attacks other stuff. Unless you live under a rock, you know that those games get harder and harder as you get better. But for some players, once they get really good, the hardest modes become not that big of a problem and they could solo them. So if soloing some of these hardest modes in these games isn't enough for you, then how about you solo three at once? Today I'm going to be playing three tower defense games on the hardest modes, well, except this one because there's only one mode, and my goal is going to be to try to beat all of them at the same time. If I lose once on any of these games, I lose the entire challenge. I'll be soloing Fallen, soloing tower battles, and soloing chimps mode in Bloons Tower Defense 6. So then, let's see if I succeed or not. Alright, so I currently have three games open here, Tower Defense Simulator, Tower Battles, and Balloons Tower Defense 6 in this last tab. My goal here is going to be to beat every single one of these at the same time. Now the thing is, in Tower Battles, I didn't actually have an alt because, you know, I'm using my main inside of Tower Defense Simulator. So I had to get an alt and buy some credits on it. And I got these relatively good towers, good enough to beat the, the mode, but it's certainly not going to be easy. Also ignore this uh, win-loss ratio, we don't, we don't talk about that. But yeah, I'm just going to join a solo here, and once I'm inside a map here, I'll just start all of the games at once, I guess. My plan for BTD6 here is to go for a attack zone, and pretty much prioritize it throughout the entire run, because attack zone is pretty cheap for the amount of damage it does, and I'm pretty sure it can handle all of the rounds until round 100. I can actually pause the game, but that shouldn't be allowed because I can't pause the other two. So the challenge here is basically just going to be beat all of these at once. My commentary might not be great because I'm gonna be really focused, it's three games after all. Beating one of these, just like Solo Fallen in and of itself is already challenging, let alone chimps and an entire tower battles game on top of that so so i don't know how i'm gonna go about this in terms of editing i'm probably just going to like speed up some parts maybe cut out some others because it's certainly not going to be easy to voice while also focusing on three different games at the same time the map we're looking for here is borderlands because well because with bad towers first of all and second of all two other games to focus on we don't really have any other choice so i'm just gonna vote here and i guess i'm gonna start off with sada here because she can do a lot of work here in the early rounds and i'll immediately start working on attack shooter so that we can defend more balloons. It's going to be extremely difficult focusing on everything. So I'm going to start off with a farm here and I guess press ready on tower battles and we're going to get going. So I'm going to start off farming in TDS and tower battles. Uh, I need as much money as I can because, well, we need to defend later waves as well. And Sada should be able to do a lot of the work here in the early game. I shouldn't even need to worry about balloons tower defense 6 for a bit because, well, Sada is just that good. I'm just going to keep upgrading my farms here, and I'm focusing mainly on that. I think I'm going to tank some health in tower battles just for some extra beefy farming. And same with TDS. I brought the Golden Crook boss for a reason. It's going to be able to handle a lot of the early game enemies, just like the Aviator will be. It's really annoying also not being able to alt-tab exactly, because that's normally what I'd be doing. But that's not really the best option here because, well, it's just going to bring me to the tab I was previously on. So I'm going to get an Aviator now, because we're going to be leaking a lot of health unless I do. And in Bloons, I'm probably going to start getting attack shooter right here would probably be a smart choice and i'm going to get more attacks and continue focusing on tds here i'm probably going to go for a crook boss early because i don't want to be tanking too much and keep focusing on tower battles that's really my second concern here as for balloons just going to keep upgrading my attack shooter slowly i'm going to get a bomb tower up later for lead defense and the rules here are if i die in any one of these games i immediately lose just the entire challenge so that's only going to make things harder also i believe i missed some farm upgrades but that should be fine you can technically solo in tower battles with that loadout without even using the farm so i shouldn't be prioritizing the farm too much as for tds solo fallen i mean i'm good at it but it's kind of a different story when you've got literally everything else in the world to focus on and here i'm going to go for the tax sprayer finally so now yellow and pink balloons should all be easy we've got a boss coming in next wave in tower battles and i believe the aviator should be good enough to handle it i need to quickly get a new farm oh i can't even afford that that's fine because i still need to worry about more defense in case the boss leaks i'm gonna upgrade my golden crook boss so that we can handle the other enemies and probably gonna upgrade a farm when the next wave is about to start looking here here i think we should be good in case we aren't i can always pop down another aviator uh as for tds we've got a golden crook so that should be able to handle the heavies and in bloons we've got our 
203 tack shooter. So pretty much no balloons are a problem anymore. Okay, I think we're fine. So I'm gonna upgrade my farm here. And uh, then next wave, I'm gonna upgrade the spy plane because of the hiddens or camos. I can't, I can't. I'm gonna get so confused between the terminology in these games because in here it's camos, in here it's shadows, in here it's hidden. So I'm just gonna call them whatever. I th everybody knows what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's my spy plane. Uh, let's see. Every time the plane goes around, it does good damage. So we should be good here. Um, probably gonna start working on a bomb shooter. We're gonna definitely need this. And I'm just gonna leave it here. Okay, so the hints are no problem. I'm gonna upgrade another farm. And I think the boss should be taken down. I'm gonna get just another aviator in case we aren't fine. This is most certainly gonna make it fine. Yeah, we didn't need it, but I still wanna get another aviator because, well, we're gonna need that extra damage either way. I'm gonna work on a recursive cluster here. And here, I'm just gonna upgrade more. Uh, let's see, did we leak anything? Uh, what are we waiting on here? I think there's just, yeah, just a single heavy there. So we should be good. Got to continue focusing on uh, tower battles and TDS right now. Uh, those are the ones that are currently giving us the most difficulty. All right, so I think I'm going to go with a cluster bomb and then go for an overdrive here later. I actually don't know what the best order here is. Maybe I'll get like a boat so I can catch balloons in the back. That's going to be pretty important. And oh God, I almost forgot tower battles exist. Uh, I'm probably going to try and get a... A rail gunner here soon but i'm gonna upgrade this plane first because we've got mysteries so that could be problematic and i'm gonna skip in tds so we get time to actually get our upgrades uh and now i'm gonna get this so we can handle the boss oh no oh no please okay i'm so glad tower battles gives us a ton of time in between waves to actually upgrade our stuff otherwise i would have not been in a good situation i'm pretty sure faster reload is better but if it isn't, then I apologize, because then I just made you watch me basically waste money. So I'm going to experiment here to see if the bug still works. There used to be a bug where you could place railgunners on the floor. If it doesn't exist, I should be fine. I'm pretty nervous that it doesn't exist. Yeah, I'm probably going to stop wasting money on that and just work on upgrading in the meantime. There you go. That should be good. In here, uh, we seem to be doing fine. I'm, I'm going to go for an overdrive next. I think we'll have enough time to save up for it because, well, because a cluster bomb is pretty good. So yeah, we should have no problem with that. We kill the boss in TDS because this crook boss is just really OP and we keep farming. We shouldn't have any problem with literally anything for a bit here. And as for this, I, well, guess I keep farming. I'm going to start working on railgunner soon. And as for this, still seems like we're handling everything fine, but I'm just scared of camo balloons that may pop up later. So I'm going to have to be wary of those. Checking on tower battles here. We've got a boss next wave so i'm gonna get a rail gunner probably like here uh i don't know exactly if this is the best spot i think this uh this is the best spot right here because there's no way we fit two and i'm just gonna upgrade this as much as i can go back to focusing on tds here we've only got one extra boss to worry about but that's fine okay so this wave may be a little bit problematic i'm not sure i don't know why i got that there that's not a good spot i meant to get something like over here and then upgrade it that's much better Boss 2 should be no problem, and uh, in balloons, well, we got this, so of course we should have no problem, except for camel balloons. Those are going to be scary, so I'm probably going to try and check up as much as I can on balloons here to make sure that we're not leaking any camos, because if we do, then we're not going to have a good time. Tower Battles is giving us a lot of time here with this boss, so that's just extra time to farm, and with TDS, well, we, we got a max farm. These two golden crook bosses should be able to handle everything without a problem. Okay, here I'm thinking we go for a Raider Scanner. Uh, the game is paused, but like I'm not going to leave it paused. I think Raider Scanner is going to be necessary here for us. But I don't know if it's going to be better than Recursive Cluster. So I think, I think it would actually be better to go for Raider Scanner, if I'm honest, because of camos. That's really our biggest problem here, since Sada is the only thing that can actually do anything about them. I guess I'm just going to save for a spacecraft here. It's not like we've got anything difficult but we do have shadow bosses or whatever coming in soon which are going to be a problem so i want to be prepared i'm gonna fast forward here until the raider scanner and there you go now we've got to just get this recursive cluster and then we should have everything down i hope this is enough defense to handle a moab if it isn't i'll just use sada's ability because i got that in the meantime gotta keep checking up on both games to make sure we're still going well all right and there you go maxed Oh god, well that lag spike was 
quite big. There you go. We got a maxed aviator. That is going to be doing some mad damage. It's going to be able to handle most of these weaker enemies and the stronger ones as well. Combined with the railgunner, we should have no problem here. So we can focus a little more on farming. Okay, wait. This wave might be a little problem if we get bad RNG. And here we've got a Moab incoming later. So I don't think we'll have a problem. Okay, our RNG seems fine. I hear ceramics, so I'm just checking. But yeah, our RNG is fine. I can upgrade my farm. As for this, I guess more farming... It is. Well, nothing else I can really do. Okay, now I just gotta hope that this aviator here is enough to defend a boss here. Uh, whatever it is. I can't even see the name. A hidden boss. We also gotta hope we don't get bad RNG. And we also gotta hope we can beat a Moab. But with a recursive cluster and an overdrive, I think a Moab should be nothing. Okay, it's coming out now. Let's see. I think we should be good. Okay, we're not good. I'm gonna use Sada's ability. But we're good now. Okay. Good thing I was paying attention or else I would have been screwed. We've got good RNG here. And as for this, are we handling the hidden boss? I don't think we're gonna have a good time with it. I'm just gonna get a real gunner right here. Is this in range? I believe it is. Yes, and that can hit the hidden boss. That should be easy. I'm gonna get more upgrades here. As for TDS, uh, well, that's a lot of money. Hold on, I better spend some on farms and probably another Golden Kirk boss because that's a lot of mysteries incoming. Seeing as we have uh, struggled with mobs here, I'm probably gonna get like a Moab Mauler or two because, well, mobs, we, we gotta be able to handle them. I think one Moab Mauler on Strawn is gonna do the trick for us. As for here, I'm gonna keep farming. With this Railgunner, we should be able to handle all of these hidden bosses, so I'm just gonna keep farming. Okay, in TDS, we don't get great RNG, but we're able to handle the enemies anyways. We've got Fallen's incoming later on. Hopefully, we're gonna have enough defense to handle that, and hidden bosses should be covered. I don't know if I should go for a next generation warfare here. I guess I'm farming then. Okay, this is gonna be a little problem. I'm gonna probably get a commander here. It's gonna help out a lot and just use the ability. Okay, we're still doing fine in balloons. I'm probably, ah, uh, I don't know if I should get bigger radius. I don't think I should. Oh god, that's not even, that's not even one of the games. Okay, this commander is going to be our backup plan here. I'm gonna keep farming. Farming is always the way to go. That commander is gonna be there to save us in case anything goes wrong. And I cannot for the life of me, click the right game. All right, I'm a little nervous with things here. Uh, should I get a spike factory in the back? I might do that. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is not good, this is not good, this is not good. Are we good, are we good? That's not good. Um, I'm gonna get a quick golden crook boss back here to damage that thing or else we would have been dead here. God, it's so important to check what's going on here at every single moment. And I tank some health, okay. I'm gonna use this and probably gonna also nuke nuke these slimes here because I would otherwise be screwed. I know it's a little bit overkill to go with like an airstrike, but I literally don't have any other choice. Oh God, TDS, right, yes. We're, we're about to get spammed with bad RNG. I'm gonna max a crook boss here, get a commander and max another crook boss after this too. Jesus, okay, things are really starting to get pressured here uh, we're still chilling here but i'm not taking any chances i'm gonna go with like spike balls in the back okay with two max crook bosses uh this is easy as for tower battles okay we need to start getting our game up let me start placing rail gunners i'm gonna get this one maxed because that's just gonna do insane damage and i'm gonna keep using commander tds okay i gotta keep farming and as for balloons we should be good now i mean with this we won't be leaking anything really this can probably handle an entire moab on its own as for tower battles this is not a, it's not good we are getting swarmed i'm gonna get another max plane because it just does a great job and uh then keep checking up on the rest of my stuff uh, seems like we're doing fine here i'm gonna max all of my farms now this is really late to max my farms but since i'm focusing on so much i guess it's also excusable this isn't good i gotta use my striker i'm gonna nuke all of these slimes here and probably gonna use more of my stuff here in a moment yeah just like that i'm gonna start getting rail gunners here okay this many rail gunners is helping out a lot balloons we're doing fine i think i should have enough defense to save up for attack zone if not well then rip as for tds i uh, gotta quickly upgrade this okay got it just in time and i think i can start working on rangers now so that's great without dj things are going to be a little bit complicated we should be chilling though okay yes we're handling everything here handling everything in tds2 i'm gonna upgrade this commander and use its ability because well i want to take down that other than that i'm probably gonna keep working on rangers here and i also stopped hearing stuff in tower battles oh yeah that's because we're doing great. I really hope this is beatable without the glitch. Because I was able to beat this like with the railgunners on the floor. 
But I'm pretty sure you can't do that anymore because, well, the new UI doesn't really allow for that well. We've got loads of balloons here, but again, recursive cluster, really great for that. And seems like we haven't had a use for Maybe, maybe it'll save us. You never know. Okay, I'm a little nervous here. I'm gonna get an accelerator because of hidden stuff like shadow bosses and all that. Accelerator is gonna be able to take those down. Dang, these rail gunners are really loud. I'm gonna use this commander. All right, I'm at my tower limit, so I guess I'm just gonna start maxing my rails. In TDS, I don't have anything to do this wave, so I'm probably just gonna skip. In here, oh god, yes, tax zone. Okay, that's great. I'm gonna go for a primary training or whatever in here because we do need that extra buff to the tax zone we got a max level accelerator so okay we're chilling here for a while the max level accelerator is going to be able to carry in tower battles we're going to be continuing to upgrade our rails to max level so things seem to go pretty smooth sailing right now at this rate our only concern is really going to be the last wave because the void is really strong it's 500 khp it is going to be the strongest boss out of all of these three games so i gotta make sure that my rail gunners are strong enough to handle it i think the way we beat the bad here is with a first strike that's kind of a given because we can just damage it with attack shooter and then first strike it to death i'm so glad these rails are op and i don't actually have to like actively pay attention to the game to survive so yeah this is going well but chaining is going to be kind of hard also i can't tell what sada's saying she's just mumbling in the background but doesn't really matter I'm gonna get the primary mentoring here so our attack shooter is a lot stronger now and now we're gonna need another village like right here somewhere I don't know where exactly here should be good yes it sees all of them because we're gonna need a lead popping because the attack zone can't pop leads unfortunately I'm gonna sell a farm for a commander for all of the rails back here that is gonna be useful because none of them are currently buffed now they all are okay TDS got a checkup to make sure we're doing fine and yep just as I expected we're doing all right I'm gonna go for another accelerator uh, that's gonna be a great choice I want to place it probably like here somewhere so it's actually able to see that road as well and the reason we need another accelerator is because of the tank coming in next wave I, I just realized my voice chat's on okay great okay I just noticed this that's not good we're not supposed to be leaking I mean glad we have that for sh for sure now but Stuff like that is the stuff that gets you. you. You just don't have a way of knowing because you can't really check. Yeah, gotta be actively checking, I guess. Okay, our money is absolutely insane. We've got $117,000. I think I can sell, like, all of my farms now because I'll just be able to get all of my railgunners anyways. Okay, here's our tank. Uh, I'm gonna use the commander. We want to be able to take him down. I didn't need the commander, but I just wanted to be safe, so that's good. Gonna upgrade and continue focusing on tower battles here. Yeah, this is certainly a lot harder without the bug, because with the bug, you'd just be able to place all of them on the floor and then, like, walk away and chill, but now you actually gotta worry about stuff, so I don't like that much, but we should be chilling. I don't know how many times I've said that now. I've probably said it, like, 30 times. That's because we're actually just fine. Okay, I'm gonna speed things up here until I get the monkey intelligence, bro. And there you go. We got lead popping. We've got everything we could have asked for on this tax shooter here. I'm gonna slow things back down and switch over to... So tower battles i think yeah because tower battles is about to end the game is coming close so i need to get the rest of my stuff down i'm probably gonna try this a few more times because i really want to be able to place stuff on the floor ah oh, yeah nah it's impossible now i guess the rest of my stuff can just be aviators because i don't really have much space left i also gotta check up here and get one more accelerator i might as well remove this dino skull because i want to get a sub and just keep upgrading okay here you go the last wave uh, i'm gonna get another commander probably like right here so it buffs the rest of the rails and then another one at the back just so i can chain them that's gonna be a good idea and that's all 25 of my towers so accelerators are gonna be handling everything here here we've got all this destruction i'm probably gonna get another recursive cluster because round 78 is coming up and that worries me a little so i'm gonna get a recursive probably top path this time on a bottom and top path because i'm not exactly sure which one's better and oh god i better start chaining commanders here because this is where things get difficult yeah i'm gonna use all of my abilities here as much as i can i'm gonna keep spawning my strikers okay well that commander's stunned i'm gonna keep dropping my airstrikes as well that would be a good plan so yeah right now i can't really afford to focus on the other games so if i lose in any other ones while i'm doing this then i'm gonna be sad oh the aviator flew right in my path while I was dropping a bomb, so dropped it in the wrong spot. Fantastic. Okay, in TDS we're fine. I'm gonna upgrade 
a ranger to max level sure why not and btd6 we're also doing good oh god i'm so stupid okay i just used two commanders at once that is not the way things are supposed to work okay fantastic luckily i can keep using my airstrikes repeatedly they do a lot of damage that one just dropped right there that was not right okay we've handled the guardians and now we're just focusing on the rest of the stuff we shouldn't have any more problems so i'm gonna just keep bombing as much as i can okay checking on tds again uh, gonna get the rest of my rangers placed down. That would be a good idea because I don't want to die while I'm AFKing here focusing on tower battles. Okay, we're still doing good here. That's good to see. I'm gonna work on a- I'm gonna get a sub here just so at least we get started on something and probably like that. Yeah, that's good because I'm 100% gonna be needing a first strike for the last bad. Might as well get it early for some damage. Okay, tower battles. I think we got this in the bag. The rails are doing great work and I used the commander right before everything got stunned. So that's great timing. I can also use stuff back here. Our void's almost halfway. That's what we like to see, but it's absolutely abusing its abilities here. It's like spawning and stunning left and right. Okay, uh, round 78, we survived that wave, so yeah, we're good. Gonna upgrade my rangers and probably my commander too in a moment. Here, I'm gonna just <laughs> keep using abilities, but god, I'm struggling because I can't, I can't tell what's going on exactly. Okay, yes, we're alright. The, the void has a long way to go, and we've been doing tons of damage as is, so I'm just gonna get this max commander here, and continue checking things to make sure everything's going according to plan. Okay, the void is... Well, pretty much dead for a fact here. Uh, gotta keep using abilities here just to make sure that it doesn't spawn anything and then we somehow end up losing. So that would be a sad way to go. Alright, we're pretty much done with tower battles here. Just gotta finish the rest up here. 6,000 health and boom. The void has been killed. Some epic... Uh, screenshot images whatever yeah that's gonna be cool all right now we're just focusing on balloons tower defense six and this so gonna alternate between the two probably gonna move this here because i don't have to worry about it anymore so yeah in balloons we should be fine this tag shooter is an absolute beast so i'm thinking we get like maybe a super brittle because it just makes it do so much more damage a super brittle right here probably a good plan i'm gonna get like embrittlement and i believe enhanced freeze is better it's just gonna increase the damage more more often and other than that yeah we're good we don't need the first strike we should have enough money by the end and thank you tower battles that's a triumph and i can leave the game now Okay, so now I gotta actually start focusing on TDS here a little more, because enemies are starting to get strong, and uh, my defense is a little behind as I've been, well, focusing on tower battles this whole time as it was the final wave. I'm gonna need my final commanders here, and thankfully, I was able to, you know, get tower battles out of the equation, so it's now gonna be a lot easier for me to chain, and yeah, that's all I really need to say about that. Almost got a super brittle here. After I get that, that's basically a free win i got got two recursive clusters to handle crowds uh sada's ability here as well and yeah attack shooter basically everything is going as it should be okay almost all of our rangers are maxed and we did get a super riddle here now too so things are smooth sailing now this doesn't guarantee a win yet i'm probably just gonna spam stuff and of course first strike capability very important but this does make things a lot better for us i'm about to get my final ranger maxed and now all i need to do is just chain and get accelerators i believe my defense in balloons tower defense 6 is powerful enough to the point where i don't have to focus on it so i'm just gonna keep using abilities here gonna max my uh commanders also i hear something pretty strong here so i just wanted to make sure we're good and yeah we're, we're good okay here's our final wave i gotta sell all of my farms and just work on accelerators there's nothing better for me to do what the heck okay there you go okay fallen king is here we're spamming accelerators and because we got all of our rangers maxed i think we should be good so just gonna finish upgrading stuff and yeah okay so pretty much all of our accelerators there just got stunned that's that's perfect and now they for sure did, but I'm pretty certain this is, with all these accelerators and rangers, the Fallen King is screwed. Checking on balloons here, we're doing good, but that's a lot of balloons, I don't know how to feel about that. Okay, we've got DDTs, let's see. Okay, we're able to handle those, but not that well, so I'm gonna watch out for that. We've got all of our accelerators down, so this is basically as strong as our defense is gonna get. At this point, I might as well just spam my ability, yeah. And Fallen King is dead, okay. Two of the three games down. Now we've just got Bloons Tower Defense 6 left. Uh, well, obviously gonna first strike first. 
And then, uh, I actually don't know what to do here towards the end. We've got lots of stuff still, but we're doing good. So, like, okay, but that's not good. I, d I don't know exactly what to do about that. I'm gonna use Sada's ability. Okay, please. Oh, God. Um, 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 um. Okay, hold on. I know I'm saying no pausing, but because we beat the other two games, I think I need a little moment to think here. What just happened? I need to consider my options here. So there's ground zero, and there's probably other stuff here that I can get. I just don't know what would be the best for me here. I think it would be an overclock for my attack zone. Okay, it's good to see that the DDTs aren't a problem. Uh, the overclock is going to cost us 14 grand here, but a little more because of all the other stuff. Okay, that should be good enough. I, I really hope so. I'm just going to use the ability all the times that I can, so that is going to be a lot stronger. But yeah, see, we're still leaking, so that's not good. I'm going to use my ability to hopefully take down all of those ceramics. Speaking of which, I probably should get more recursive clusters. They are really great at popping that, so I'm just going to get a couple more. I'm going big bombs. I'm just hoping that that's a good choice, and I'm going to overclock that, so we should be able to handle all of round 95 here. Okay, yeah, with all of these recursive clusters, we're doing way better. Okay, that spike factory was a great choice. Whoa, oh, that is not good. That's not good. That's not good. Hold on. Uh, I'm probably going to get... Oh, shoot. I don't know what to get for this. I need something strong. Uh, let me check my options here. What would be able to handle all of those balloons? Uh, rocket storm. Oh, that's not going to be ready, though. Probably going to go with a... Probably going to try a balloon area denial system here. Uh, oh, God. That is very, very bad. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with an ice monkey here, cause okay, no, we're losing here. I gotta, I gotta back out to beat this. Oh my god, I think this is allowed because I mean, technically, I am done with the other games. I can do whatever I need to beat this. I'm probably gonna start off by trying icicles here, cause icicles is just really good at handling lots of balloons. I hope I did not just get the wrong thing there. And then a more glaives would also be a good choice here. So let's hope this is gonna be good enough. Obviously, gonna overclock our attack zone right off the bat okay now we got away i'm gonna use sada here sada has great pierce so we were able to handle most of that and yeah i think that's just what we needed this round is no problem fortified ddt's may be strong but not strong enough for us and obviously to finish things here the bad i'm gonna use the air first strike at the last moment and boom that is a win i honestly didn't think i'd be able to do this but that is pretty intense so if you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and use Star Cody, because I'm certainly going to need to make up those Robux I spent on Tower Battles.